Okay guys, so for the final game of the evening, mind you these uploads will be staggered over a few days probably, but for the last game of this little taping session, and David apparently just put up a Starbound video, cool, go watch that, if you didn't already. Um, this is called City Car Driving, uh, simulator, something something, 2000 or whatever. Okay, I think we have the engine running. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, I think we have engine sound. I have no idea how realistic this is. Okay, how do we get reverse? Oh, I think I've stalled it. Oh god. Oh, parking brake off. Oh shit! <laughs> oh well. Oh, okay, the head automatically turns. I don't know my way around the city. Uh, turn signal. Oh. Alright, guys. Alright, we're on the open road. So, yeah, obviously, um, this is a not the usual kind of game. Usually, I play driving games where you're supposed to crash into stuff or games where you're racing. But um, this is just a straight up fucking city driving game. So, this could be interesting. Pretty potential for. Oh, fuck! thought I had the line there. Oh. oh! You've had an accident, wear your seatbelt. Oh, I've got to put my seatbelt on. Let's get a... Can we look around? Oh! Look at that! The cars actually get damaged in this. Oh! Look at the guy, he's got the... I've been trying to explain to somebody that I had this beige jumper from way back. A cardigan. And it has that pattern on the front of it. Anyway, um... Wait, why aren't we moving? Okay. Easy. Whoa! This is better than GTA. See, I... Oh! I was looking at comments for this game. And people were saying, Oh wow, this looks so boring. What the fuck? Why would anyone play this? I've already got a car in my driveway, things like that. But look at this, this is amazing! Look at the damage on the car! Okay, I'm really going to put the camera back in there. Yeah. Oh man, I can't get the car moving! Okay. Okay. It's coming up with all these traffic violations. Hang on, here we go. Here's my date. Nice heels, honey. <laughs> Pedestrian accident! She didn't seem damaged. Much. Got a double clutch there. Oh, fuck. Whoa! <laughs> Let's turn in here. Oh! More power! So, like, is there any open roads I can cruise onto? Oh, wait, there's a park here. Turn signal. They actually scream when you run into them. <laughs> Ooh. I, see, this game is remarkably comprehensive. It's like more open-minded than I thought it would be. You take Euro Truck Simulator 2, it doesn't let you run into pedestrians. Like, nothing really happens when you crash. But this actually has... Ooh. Oh, I appear to have run into someone. This doesn't, like, have all that crap. I mean, rather, it doesn't have all those restrictions. It actually says, hey, you've hit someone, and they scream when you do. I love the attitude of this game already. I've only been playing it for a short few minutes, but... Oh, judge that one perfectly. See, I know I'm a bit of a driving buffoon. I don't always get it right, but... Some stuff I get just perfect. Hang on. I'm gonna park. Straight in that space. Oh. <laughs> Am I even in the, in the lines? Oh, these are blurred lines. How do I, uh, how do you rotate the camera? That's what I want to know. Free camera? Any kind of free camera mode? Settings? Hmm. No, doesn't appear to be. Uh, if there is, please let me know. Anyway, uh, let's start again. Let's, let's try a different, oh, hang on. We'll try a different car, different, uh, 
Are we still recording? Cool. Different vehicle. It means no worries for the rest of your days. No, no, no stickers. Oh, I've got to unlock cars? Oh, piss. I'm gonna go in the pimp mobile. Highway? Motorway? Oh man, it's an endurance race. Let's <laughs> we'll see how fast we can turn on this fucking highway, John. It means no worries. Oh wow. Holy shit. Now tell me, I pull up in that car in front of your house, you're not instantly excited to be on a date with me? You're lying. Oh, it's Walter White. Yeah. My house was in the debris field. Okay. Hot together. So hot together. Alright. Oh. Engine on? Hear the ma the manly motor power of that pimp mobile. Oh, uh, parking brake. Oh, wear your seatbelt. Turn on the lower beam. What? Why do I need the bloody headlights on for? It's daytime. All right. Oh wow, there's actually some pretty good force feedback in this. Slow down. I don't think so, pal. Whoa! Oh, God! Wow! Whoa! The wheel is jumping around in my hands. So hot together! <laughs> you guys probably can't hear the song. I need to turn it up. Alright. Hot together! Perfect makeup music. Anyway. Apparently, I need to concentrate. I think I'm overreacting to the force feedback. Like, it's very. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's realistic. But, um, I'm reacting too much to it because, because I'm sort of noticing it. Like, if I were to do that thing again where I mount the camera to the steering wheel, you'd probably be seeing me putting it everywhere. Fifth gear. Oh. Fucking out of my way, you cunts! <laughs> it's something they told me when I was a kid that I never really understood at the time, is that you don't really learn how to swear until you drive a lot. Uh, now I'd believe that. Whoa! Oh, you dickheads! Man! How do you turn off all these uh, admonishments for doing the wrong thing? See, that's what I'm worried about, because I don't really care. These people aren't real. Cutting in front of the bus! <laughs> now I'm in the fucking ditch! Uh, Logitech, I love you guys. I've had the G27 wheel for most of the year now. I've had a lot of fun learning how to play racing games with it and stuff like that. I have to tell you, there should be a horn button in the middle. Um, at, at the moment, it's just a stupid plastic bump. It's, it's where the Logitech logo goes. It's where I've put my Lotus sticker. Um, oh, by the way, Lotus, uh, the F1 team, hiring fucking Maldonado. Tell you what, guys, if you want the souvenirs, just go to any race where he's driving. Uh, you're going to have nice shiny bits of black lotus everywhere. Because uh, that guy is going to crash. He's going to crash hard. It's going to be hilarious. Um, take that to the bank, as far as I'm concerned. Um, anyway. Nip in the gap! Woo! Oh, yeah! If you no longer go for a gap, you're no longer a racing driver. <laughs> Fucking cunt! <laughs> Anyway, no, this is great. I love this. Because I like the ordinary, everyday driving feel of Euro Truck Simulator, but you're in a truck. Um, so it's not ordinary and everyday unless you're somebody who drives trucks for a living. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> um, oh. Reverse, please. Oh, right. Dude. Indicator's off. What's going on here? Get moving, damn it. This is great. I like this map. Here we go. Now we're gonna pick up some real speed. There we go. Oh, 80s music. Get ready, guys. 
Yeah, now we're now we're cooking. I'm gonna drop the steering wheel while I drive, just like David does. Yeah. <laughs> Why did they leave a gap for me to drive through? This is great. I love this. I don't care what anyone thinks. This is sorry, bitchin' heels. Get the get the hipsters and sweaters. Yeah. Oh, the game's slowing down for some reason. Obviously can't handle- Oh, wait! Left indicator! Let's pull into a spot, shall we? Parking brake! <laughs> oh, shit! What the hell just happened? <laughs> oh! Somebody hit me while I was executing my manoeuvre! Bad form, dickhead! Oh, have we still got the engine on? Keep stalling it. <laughs> oh man, is there like a parallel parking practice thing? Because no joke, I actually need to practice that. <laughs> I haven't been for my test yet, and um, and you guys must look at me like I'm the biggest road menace. But the thing is, I don't drive like this one. Probably. I drive very slowly. You should have seen me. I went driving with, with Dad in the rain um, a few months ago when I still had my car, in, and um, I tell you, I drove like a fucking nun. I was just so careful. Um, that little scream. Um, no, seriously, the, uh, the safest driver. No, no, I can't speak to it as my quality as a learner driver. Okay, I don't know. I'm probably a menace. I just don't realise it. But as far as doing really stupid things and endangering people, I, I don't think I do. Although I have had some fun. I mean, um, I haven't been driving with Paul in ages, but when I was first learning how to drive a manual, I was driving his little Hyundai around, which is, which is basically my car now. And, um... There was this great experience where it was the first time I'd ever been up on a road where you went above like the regular speed limit here, which is 60 kilometers an hour. And um, faggot. Um, and uh, <laughs> so I'm just gonna say nasty things to everyone or whatever. No, um, and uh, I got it up to I don't know something that seemed like a big number at the time, but it was appropriate for the road. And then all of a sudden had to stop at a red light, which I wasn't wasn't really expecting to be there. And I got so close up this, the ass of this rich person's car. I really, I'm so glad I didn't actually like, like run into them or anything because it would have been very embarrassing, very awkward. Got across the open road as well. Whoa, whoa! Oh shit! Okay, in real life, that thing would have just like. I love this game. This is so much. This is so much fun. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, I've got a mirror I can look in. No fucking way! Yeah. You are driving in the forbidden direction. This is great, this, this map. I love this, the highway map. <laughs> you could play chicken with some people. Hang on. Whoa, no! <laughs> Happy Halloween, ladies! Oh, I like this. I'm gonna get David over to play this. Because, I mean, I, I think he's learning how to drive, the same as me. But, uh... I don't know, I haven't heard an update on that one in a while. Oh, yeah, weaving in between the cars. Oh, shit. This is cool, guys. I like it. I like it so much. And I'm here in my fucking pimp mobile. Where are we going? Is he? Oh, shit, sorry. I can't speak as to the uh, accuracy of the physics here, but... Is there like a, a mission where I can do parallel parking? Because I really need to, I do need to practice that. Oh! Oh, there's a fucking, there's a barrier there! Oh, okay, hang on. I'm just going to quickly see if there's any... Um, starting point, da 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 Career? Reverse parallel parking! Oh, guys, we're in the games now! We are in the games. Just need some music for. He's punching his way up through the gearbox. Shut up, Murray. Okay. Should I stay in the external view? No, no, we'll go. We'll keep it authentic. Oh, we turn the engine on. Check the horn. Belt on. Up. Oh.
Oh, I've got the parking brake on. <laughs> Music's distracting me. <laughs> okay, am I on the right spot? Stop and reverse into the spot. Oh, you know, I'm on the wrong side of the car. Because in Australia, we drive on the correct side of the road. End installed, you may try again. Oh, fuck off. All right. Belt on. Oh. Okay, here we go. Yeah, no stalling this time. <laughs> oh, wow, the brakes are so responsive in this fucking thing. <laughs> okay, are we in reverse? I, it's so annoying, I can use the stick for shifting up and down, but I've got to use the paddle to go to reverse because I haven't got enough slots for all the gears. Oh god, that's an awful sound. Oh, am I doing this wrong? Ah, I've knocked out one of- there were cones! Oh, come on guys. I'm gonna go in the Hang on. Shouldn't they just do this with, like, cars instead of- Instead of cones and stuff? Man. You know what? I'm actually gonna go out on a limb here and say driving a real car is way easier. Even with my grumpy German father yelling at me. I've never had this much problems. Knock down the cone! I'm not even close to it! There's at least six inches there! Fuck this. Okay, but wow! What a revelation, guys! City car driving! I'm in love with it already. I might just play it for the rest of the evening. Drum solo. I'm also gonna watch David's uh, video of Starbound that he just uploaded, because I was I was getting a list together of like eight things I could play today for a for a bumper week-long upload. And Starbound was totally on the list, and I said to him on Skype, David, does anybody give a shit about Starbound? Should we, you know, that kind of thing? Should we play it? He doesn't answer me, so I look up some videos of it. I think Day9 or someone's playing it. I'm thinking, oh, it looks pretty cool, but it looks like something I'd be shit at, so I'll wait for David to show me how to win it. Cut to a few hours later, I'm about to start playing this game. David messaged me on Skype. Shut the fuck up, Michael Jackson. Turns out he made a video of it behind my back, so I'm going to have to jump on that bandwagon. Me and him have got a date for some multiplayer Starbound. I don't know when. Not an actual arranged thing, but it's going to have to happen soon. Uh, I need to go leave this room because it's hot and humid in here. You've been watching... Oh, do I pick the right scene? No, <laughs> that's David. Uh, where is it? The <laughs> Nelson Mandela. That's terrible. I can't do something that inappropriate. Hang on a minute. Yeah, what's... There we go. Now, where are we? Where's the fucking scene? I had it set up. Scene 8? That's David. Barry Dan and 12! You've been watching Barry Dan and 12. Um, for those of you who didn't like that Nelson Mandela joke, this might be the last time you watch a video of mine, so I'm sorry I disappointed you. Yeah, this is City Guard Driving, guys. Get on it. Download a copy right away. And get a wheel to play it with. Holy fuck. I love this so much. I'm gonna know. I'm seriously saying this is harder than driving a real car. Let me know if you agree with me. Cheers, guys.